Hey guys, so once again, long time no talk. Literally every time I film it's like this, but I have tried to film a few things. I filmed like the last week of school, like my finals and like moving. Then I did like a Christmas Eve get ready with me because I actually felt like putting on makeup for once even though I wasn't doing anything. But I just feel like those aren't relevant anymore and I didn't edit them like in the moment. I just kind of scrapped them. So I have tried to film stuff and I had fun doing it, but I just didn't feel like I should post it because I don't know it's just been so long today is going to be like a little new year's kind of vlog where I go get my planner like my yearly thing I've done for the past two years I'm gonna go get my planner tomorrow just because today's new year's eve and I'm watching passion this afternoon to tonight and I'm house sitting right now that's why I'm in a different house I feel like I'm always house sitting when I vlog passion starts at three if you don't know what passion is it's just like a college conference and I went last year obviously because of covid they canceled it so that's kind of sad but they are doing like a live stream and it's free for everyone which is so 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 good I'm just about to make some lunch because I have a bunch of leftovers yesterday was my mom's birthday so I have leftovers from like a Japanese steakhouse and then I made falafels yesterday we had falafels and they were actually really good but I don't I think I'm gonna have those today. I think I'm gonna have sweet potato and broccoli and I have some refried beans left over. So I think I'm gonna do a whole thing. I made homemade hummus. I was watching one of Allison's vlogs and she just did a bowl with like a whole different mash of things. It was like sweet potatoes, black beans, and then chicken. That's what I need to get out my turkey. And then she did some like lettuce and avocado on top. And I have all of those things. I have my sweet potatoes and my broccoli. And then I'll put the turkey. I also made banana bread the other day. I'm home from college where I didn't get to make anything so now I'm like making a whole bunch of stuff because I love making food. I'm just gonna make this lunch and then watch some friends. Oh yeah I also want to make my dream board per se for the year but it's more of like things that I want to accomplish this year on my background of my laptop. Here's my lovely banana bread in my stasher bag. It's vegan and we're fine here. So now that that's all warmed up, I'm gonna put some spring mix on top of her. And then I have a avocado that is ready. Sal y pimienta for the avocado. These past few days, I've been really trying to get back on track with eating better because I do not feel good when I don't eat well. I have not felt good these past week or two, like with Christmas. Woo! I do not eat well at all. All the food is so good, but I'd rather feel good after I eat. I guess I'll see you tomorrow in the car. Maybe I'll vlog a little more today. So the first part of Passion was great. There's like a two hour break. So I just did my screen and I'm so excited. I actually like wrote what the pictures meant on some of them. I want to road trip more and this is for like I want to actually vlog. And then this is like I want to stretch every day. I want to go on more hikes like at least once a month. This is because I want to do a pallet bed for my apartment. I really want to go to Texas. I want to continue being sustainable. I want to shop local. I want to go to the Grand Canyon. And then this is, says, be still, the Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. That's a verse that really stuck with me this year. And then I want to go on walks like a lot more regularly as well. And then I really want to go camping. So yeah, I did like the background part of it white. It's like an off white. I feel like it's just a little more mature, you know? I feel like all the colors are just so cute. Oh, I just love it. So that's exciting. It's January 1st and it's here mid outside. Wow, everyone is running. I guess it is January 1st, so you would want to run and you know, start the year off strong. Wow, it is very moist <laughs> outside. Okay, let's go. Let's go, truck. Come on. Oh my golly, this cannot, this cannot work. Hello, she's gonna be bouncy. It's not gonna be the cutest, but you know, it's 2021 and I'm gonna freaking vlog. So that's one of my goals for this year is that I'm gonna vlog more and I'm actually going to like edit it in the moment and actually post it so that it is relevant. So I don't have an excuse to like sing and film videos and then never edit them because they're not relevant. So basically I'm going to get my planner and I've done this video the past two years where I basically just do a drive with me. I just feel like I'm not personal whenever I have my sunglasses on. What I pretty much do for these videos is I just kind of like talk about wrapping the year up or like starting the new year. I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. I don't know if I'm going to talk about too much of 2020 just because it's not that it's a bad year at all because I know it wasn't a year that we expected but I did grow like a lot out of it so I don't think that it was a bad year at all. I went to college, loved college. The thing I've gotten out of 2020 is that like I really need my one desire, 
my stronghold, what I lean on needs to be God because if I'm not hanging on to the Lord, I like don't have anything. I just don't have peace without the Lord. Also, one thing I got out of this year is like, it was mainly like the beginning of 2020 where I started having like really deep relationships with people and I really cherish that and I'm excited to like go into a year like expecting that with people. It's just something that I never saw as like essential, but whenever I went to college, I was kind of like, whoa, friendships are a little different because you can't go immediately deep with people because you don't know them. This is like the first year that I've not even read a lot of my Bible. I've read it consistently. Like the first three months and then the last half of the year, I was being pretty consistent. I talked about, I think it was a drive with me. It was like in April or May or something. I'm not gonna go by a plan for like reading my Bible anymore because I did that in the beginning of the year and I was doing it for the reason of like checking the box and I don't want that to be my reason for reading the Bible. Right now I'm reading Acts and like the beginning of it I really loved reading and it's kind of getting a little more difficult towards the end but I think I'm just gonna read like through the New Testament like after Acts because or just whatever I want because I really want to read Romans and I want to read 1 Corinthians so might as well just keep going after that right? <laughs> I also had a lot of firsts this past year. I know I'm not gonna get into that but like I did a lot of things that I had never done before, so that's pretty cool. I think that's about all I'm gonna say about 2020. I just feel like I learned so much, and I, I don't think that it's like the kind of things that I learned that I can tell you. It's not like a specific piece of advice or anything. Like, it's just like my life experience this year has taught me like so much. I'm really not trying to avoid anything. I just like don't know, so we love that. I think I'm going to talk about the new year, oh my God. Is 2021 not sound so weird? I don't know. I just feel like that sounds weird because the freaking, I hate the whole like 21 thing, you know? And then like throughout middle school, I feel like my number was always 21 for something. And so like I kind of grew to hate the number, but then I was also like, do I hate this number or is it my lucky number? So I guess we'll see after this year if I hate this number or if it's my lucky number. I think we're going to kind of like talk through my dream board for the year. I don't like to dwell on that it's like a dream board because if it doesn't happen, and it's fine and it's not like I'm oh my gosh like if I put this on this board it's gonna happen because I don't think that's true because it didn't happen last year because of COVID so I'm not putting like my worth into this dream board or anything like it's literally just something I can look at and it's cute and it can be inspiring and just be like a little reminder especially with like walking and hiking I wrote down that I'd really like to go like on an intentional walk at least once a week I walk a lot like while I'm in school because I have to walk back and forth from dorms to class to like all the things <laughs> but I want to go on like an intentional walk because I only did that like two times I think this last semester both times I did it I loved it so I want to go on an intentional walk once a week maybe it's like every Sunday afternoon or whatever maybe it becomes like a certain day or maybe it's just a day that like I can do it with the hiking I love hiking but it's like whenever people ask like oh like where do you go hiking I'm like I literally just hike like during spring or fall break like I don't ever just hike like on a weekend just for the fun of it and I really want to do that I want to be comfortable doing it by myself but I also would love to just like do it with friends I don't have to do that but I feel like that would be a good self bonding <laughs> exercise the walk one I feel like is a lot more realistic the hiking one could be like a little more unrealistic but I don't have to go to like fancy hikes like I could just go to like one that I've been to a few times or just random ones I don't know I just feel like I need to do that what was another one eating local that's really gonna be more of like when I do get an apartment and when I actually can buy my own food and like make my own meals I want to support local farmers markets and shopping local just like in general this Christmas I wanted to I guess I haven't posted a video in a long time so I haven't talked about this I feel like I have but I tried to like put a little bit of sustainability in everyone's gift that I gave I don't think Etsy is like the most sustainable thing to do but I do think that like finding something off of Etsy that is like clearly a small business owner is better than like buying it from Amazon for instance I needed more masks because one of my masks like got tore up in the dryer I was gonna get like a five pack from Old Navy but instead I was like oh I, duh I can just look on Etsy they're really nice and really cute that was one thing that I did I got like a few gifts from Etsy this year not only with Etsy but just like with 
any small or business place I want to purchase from and then farmers markets local place is I really want to continue being sustainable like swapping over things in my life to be more sustainable did I talk about this in the beginning I love watching vlogs so I wish that I could just like do like weekly vlogs that'd be great I would love to just vlog as much as I possibly can just film as many videos as I possibly can this is the other thing though is I'm taking 18 hours next semester that's a lot so I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog as much as I wish I could. I don't know, we shall see. I'm gonna go see if they have. Oh yeah, this duct tape is sticky. Ew, it left so much residue on my camera, no. That's disgusting. All right, we're gonna do the thing where we pull around to an unpopular area. Okay, so it's actually been a few days. The file where I like came on here and showed you my planner and finished my drive with me got corrupted for some reason, but I'm here now and I'm just going to refilm this segment. So hopefully it's not too much of like an interruption to the video, but now it's January 5th. So I've actually like come up with a few more things to talk about. I have my planner here and when I first saw this planner, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I love it. But then I realized it's kind of like more mature colors. I feel like this color is going to be like my color for the year. It's like a grayish blue and then like this terracotta kind of color. It's the same brand as the planner I had last year. I just really like everything about this planner. But this year they actually added stickers. So that's pretty cool. I don't think they had a ruler in here before. And then it has like in the front, the contact information and then like your yearly goals. So I wrote those in there, which is what I'm talking about, you know, today. I'll flip to February so that there's nothing on it, but then it just has, you know, like the month and then the day. So it's pretty much the same. The only difference was that the Saturday and Sunday are split now. My last planner, it was all long, which I liked. But then I was thinking like, I don't do as much on Saturday and Sunday. So I guess I would rather have like more lines for the weekdays. It has the same thing as last year where I like opened this and I was like, oh my gosh, like it's the United States and then all the holidays. Also, one thing that is very helpful that I noticed wasn't in a lot of them was like the tabs. There was this other one I was looking at that didn't have tabs and it also didn't have the month overlay. And like to me, like those are two very important parts of a planner my planners are getting more mature as the years go on that's that i also was going to show you my mask but this is my mask that i got from like the etsy shop and it has like adjustable ear straps and like a nose wire like it's very nice and like isn't this just so cute i'll link it down below if you need more masks definitely support people on etsy or small businesses around you either way so now i'm gonna get into the goals i'll probably start driving like halfway through this i thought it'd be good to have like a nice silent spot where there wasn't like too much racket going on and i was planning on this video being the first video of the year but if you didn't see my video with sarah we did like a spontaneous like roommate tag drive with us. I just posted that first because I already had that video done and I still hadn't figured out what I was going to do with this video. So this is the second video of the year, but that doesn't make it any less important. I kept saying in this video that I did this planner video the last two years and I thought that I did, but I think I've only done it like last year. And then the year before I did my goals for the year, but I didn't do like a drive with me, like getting my planner. I still love this like video that I did last year and I want to continue doing it because I really like it. It's more of a casual setting to like talk about the goals and the things from the year before and also get my planner and be excited and nerdy with you <laughs> now i'm going to start talking about my goals because i talked about some but then i didn't finish another goal of mine is to go camping i like really want to go camping and i've never been camping i've only been camping in my backyard but I really want to go camping with some friends this year. Like maybe I'll like it and I'll want to keep doing it because I love nature and like I love hiking. And so that'd be really cool if we could go camping. I showed you my board. I actually wrote like the words of some of the things. One of them is to stretch daily. Basically the month before I came back from school, I was like stretching like every morning and every night. If you don't know, like I have like old lady bones, like my back is constantly like in pain, my hips, my knees, my shoulders, my neck, like literally everything. It is just so much better. I'm in so much less pain if I stretch morning and night. I want to do that and I just thought I'd put that as a goal so that like every time I open my laptop and I see that girl in the corner that's stretching I'm like oh have I stretched today and then I'm probably like no I don't know if I talked about this last year how I wanted to go to Texas it was on my dream board for last year and like I had a full left corner was the section of Texas 
I really wanted to go and I had a bunch of places I wanted to go there. We just didn't end up doing that and also like with COVID it just wasn't really even an idea to do that. So I would really love to go to Texas whether that's over the summer or on another break but I want it to be like a longer trip. I want to like travel Texas. I want to like road trip that like I want to like drive to Texas and drive like all through Texas. I've already talked about like road tripping but like I just really want to go on road trips like just spontaneous road trips whether they're like for a day or like spending the night. I just want to be more spontaneous and like adventurous this year. I feel like I started becoming a little more adventurous at the end of last year. I want to continue being like that and be more adventurous like than I've ever been. I've been reading my Bible pretty consistently like every morning and then I read like whatever book I'm reading at night before I go to bed. I feel like that's been a really good routine. It's something that really works for me and I read books pretty fast whenever I am reading them consistently so I want to continue doing that. Used to I would only read like fiction books that would interest me. Now I'm reading books by like Christian authors. The book I'm reading right now is so good. When God writes your love story. I think I want to do a whole video on being single and embracing like the time that you have as a single person. You don't need to just wish it away by wanting like a significant other. I feel like that's something that's very evident in my life right now and I want to share more about that. I used to do more like faith-based videos. I didn't stop because I'm like ashamed or anything. I just if something is put on my heart then I do talk about it and I feel like this is one thing that's really been put on my heart that I've been taught a lot about already and it's only January 5th. I really I like this actually. This is good. I was honestly kind of dreading filming this because I thought that it would just be very scripted and that it would have just lost its New Year's touch and I was like of course this would happen like the first video of the year that I want to like start making videos consistently. That's why I posted that video without waiting because I was like I cannot go another day without posting a video. I talked about in the beginning of this video how I watched Passion. One thing I feel like about being single, something that really stuck out to me during Passion was just that you can have a good life and be single. One thing that was said during it was that Jesus was single and he was a whole happy, like very holy person and he was single. That stuck out to me and I was like, well, if Jesus was single and like he thrived, why shouldn't I be thriving in this season? I feel like it's really been something that's been on my heart recently. If you have questions about that or like things, specific things you want me to talk about, with that then let me know i am probably just gonna talk about all the things that i've just been feeling like were put on my heart that's another thing i wanted to say about passion was that i watched it alone i was literally on new year's eve alone that to me was something that was really out of my comfort zone i feel like the reason that the people that i asked to come watch it with me couldn't i feel like that was the lord teaching me a lesson being like it's okay to be alone that was a very like special moment for me to go into the new year's alone because i've literally never done that it was just something that i felt like was meant to happen in college i was like never really alone because i have a roommate sarah and i love her even though like i would get my alone time it was like a different there was still someone there to feel like comforted by but whenever i was house sitting like i was just completely alone all the time like, i had people over a few days it's just like so weird like i haven't done that in so long and i used to like thrive off of that we got through it i feel like it was such a blessing to be able to be taught that when i filmed this video i was like i have no expectations for the new year which i don't i still feel like i have no expectations i don't really know what is gonna happen this year and i feel like that's an okay thing because we didn't expect what happened last year but we were going into the new year like expecting things i feel like the only thing we should be expecting is the lord's will i'm excited to see what he's gonna do in my life through this season of singleness i feel like i've never really intentionally embraced my singleness but i'm gonna save this for that video if you want to hear me talk more about embracing y'all single season then give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you want to see that um let me know down below i honestly think that that was about all i wanted to talk about i'm really glad that this happened like i'm i feel like this was also something that was meant to happen like the video corrupting because i would have to film it and have more insight a few days later i hope y'all are having a great new year so far so yeah this video isn't over yet now you can go back to january 1st oh my golly this she's not looking cute I'm sorry that you can see the nasty residue on her thing i'm probably just gonna finish this thought inside Alrighty, so yeah there's my recap of 2020 slash goals for 2021 
slash getting my planner getting ready for the new year i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it would mean so much to me and also if you want to see videos like this i have two videos just like this from the last two years so i'll link those down below also if you have any videos you want me to do just let me know down below as well and i would love to do them thank you so much for watching bye